Okay, I'm at another stall here at the farmer's market. Still a good chance to get sort of the end of things from the tomatoes. Lots of pumpkins, as you can clearly see everywhere. You know, I've never bought a pumpkin. I don't know why. Not really that into them, I guess. But aren't these absolutely beautiful? These cherry tomatoes look gorgeous. And of course, wow, there are those radishes. Sure wish I had a radish harvest, which I'm going to be working on. But absolutely beautiful, beautiful produce here. And the colors, needless to say, are totally spectacular. Oh, here's my favorite kale. Lacinato kale. Dinosaur kale. And look at all of the different types. Oh, these are tomatillos. You know, I've never done anything with tomatillos before. To be honest, never heard of them until about two years ago. And of course, there are lots of nice onions are here too, which is pretty good. Lots and lots and lots of good stuff. And I always just love coming. Oh my God, look at all of those tomatoes. Oh my God, that's just absolutely wonderful. Oh, look at these heirloom. Look at these striped. Aren't those colors absolutely spectacular? Just always fun to see. These look like Cherokee purples here. Everybody seems to have those at the end of the season and uh, just really kind of fun to see that. And you can see it's a pretty nice size market here. A lot of vendors selling multiple things. Um, occasionally, occasionally you do see something a little bit different. In fact, I was just at a stall a minute ago and I saw someone selling cold robbing. I'm gonna buy some of that because you know I've never tasted it before. You have other people selling things from candles to homemade soaps and all kinds of things. Uh, oh, these carrots look good. Interesting over there. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Yep, looks good. Oh, one guy even actually makes home deliveries. That's pretty cool. So that's kind of neat. And this guy here is selling old line spirits. Oh, wow. My husband would like that. Good morning. Uh, good morning. How are you? Great. Wonderful. Great. You all are based here in Maryland? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, We're you are. Downtown. Downtown. We have American single malt whiskey and we have aged Caribbean rum. Whoa. Okay. Wow. That's great. You see everything here at the farmer's market, like I said. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And even so, you see one guy selling uh, some liquid refreshment here, bottled water, coffee by the pound. That is so interesting. And you even get a little bit of a musical interlude. This man playing some wonderful music here. I enjoy hearing him every time I come makes a visit at the farmer's market pretty good hey it's great I always enjoy listening to you and of course as we walk around on the other side you see people selling all kinds of things some prepared foods um, and just a number of things that are here garlic pickles these are great Oh my gosh, they take their cucumbers and pickle them. It's really delicious. I've had their pickles before. This is a wonderful vegetable stand. I just bought a boatload of things from this guy. And guess what? The first time I have ever seen on sale, anyway, because I never heard of it until about two or three years ago. Guess what? Kohlrabi. Oh my God. I bought a bunch. I'm going to find out how does one eat kohlrabi and cook it. This is a wonderful Valencia's uh, produce coming out of uh, Westmoreland County, Virginia. And they have absolutely beautiful produce here. Absolutely beautiful. And I just bought a whole uh, just load of things here. And just a lot of fun. This is the, the gentleman on the left is the farmer. So um, I just bought a lot of things from him and uh, have enjoyed hey, hey there and they have wonderful produce here and it's just really neat to see look at that lettuce look at that doesn't that look delicious i just bought two two bunches from him so i'm excited to see that and of course they have a little bit of uh some cherry purples that are still there this is pretty much what you're seeing in terms of heirlooms right now this time of the year and of course these people have 
goat cheese and go a goat farm. This is just really kind of a neat. They're just really neat folks to talk to. And uh, they are Charlottetown Farm out of uh, Northern Maryland. Uh, you are okay yes yes oh, this is cute it's one of those faces that you just fall in love with that is so cute <laughs> absolutely adorable good to see you oh yes we have some distillers here okay from montgomery county maryland local folks that's always good to see oh wow look at the brands that they're carrying this is truly local oh